Morning, today boys and girls, I'm going to read you this story. And the title is, Tell Me Why Planes Have Wings. You think about that. Do you know why planes have wings? You're going to learn that today. And the author is Shirley Willis. Remember, the author writes the words. And I'm not sure who the illustrator is, but she also may be the illustrator. And the illustrator draws the pictures. So we're going to listen to this um, story. Well, actually, it's an informational text. An informational text teaches us about different things. So it's not a story today. It's an informational text. You're going to learn something from this. So let's get ready to sing our song that gets us ready for reading. One, two, ready, go. Everybody look now. Teacher has a book now. Won't you please be quiet? Quiet, quiet. All right. Let's see. Kids doing something. Whiz kids. And right here, this is the table of contents. These are all the things we're going to learn about in this informational text. Oops, sorry. Tell me why planes have wings. Flying looks easy. Can I fly? You cannot fly because the force of gravity pulls you towards the ground. In order to fly, the force of gravity has to be overcome. Birds, bats, insects can fly because they can overcome gravity. See them flying? So we can't fly because we can't overcome gravity. But those other things mentioned, they can. Gravity keeps your feet on the ground. What is gravity? Look at the little girl. She's floating. The force of gravity keeps you on the ground. Without gravity, you would float. Put your thumb up if you would love to be floating around everywhere. Like you're in, think about where's another place where you where they float? In outer space. So in outer space, there's zero gravity. That's why when they're in space, they float. When something falls like this apple, it is being pulled down by gravity. You cannot see gravity, but it pulls everything towards the center of Earth. So on Earth, there's gravity. In space, there's no gravity. It's zero gravity. How do birds fly? Birds can fly because they can overcome gravity. A bird's bones are hollow, so its body is not very heavy. By flapping its wings, a bird lifts itself off the ground and starts to fly. Let me see you flap your little hands like you have wings. Flap, 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 flap. A bird's body is built for flying. It has strong muscles to flap its wings and lightweight feathers to protect it from the cold. So birds, birds can overcome gravity. Can we overcome gravity? No, we cannot. Can you stop gravity? Ready, set, go! You cannot stop gravity, but air can slow down its effect. So right here, they just want you to have a, a paper race. So this is a little experiment you can do um, at home. So they want you to take two sheets of paper, crumble one up in a ball, and drop them both together from the same height. So one paper is crumpled up and one paper is not crumpled up. The paper ball falls faster because it's smaller. The sheet, it traps more air underneath it. So it slows down as it falls. And then right here, it's just a little um, way you can make a parachute. So I'll let you look at it. You just need, um, what is this? A plastic bag, scissors, a ruler, four strings, some tape. And I'm not sure what this last thing is, plasticine. I don't know what that is. 
but this is how you make a uh, parachute. So when an object falls, air acts like a brake to slow it down. This is called drag. So when a parachute fills with air, it's slowed down by a drag. What is air? Air is a mixture of invisible gases and it's all around us. When air moves from one place to another, it's called wind. Wind is moving air. Warm air rises and cold air sinks. As warm air rises, cold air rushes into the empty space below and that's called wind. Remember, you cannot see wind, you can't see it but you can feel it blowing against you. On a windy day, you can see it blowing trees, flags, and clothes drying on the clothesline. So thumbs up, can you see the air? Or thumbs down, you cannot see the air. Right, your thumb should be down. We can't see air, but we can feel it when it is windy. Oops. Does, do planes float in the air? A glider is a plane without an engine. Gliders float on rising currents of warm air called thermals. A glider pilot must follow warm air thermals to stay in the air. You can see gliders, but you cannot touch them. Or excuse me, you cannot hear them. See the glider plane is gliding up in the air. And this is just another little experiment you can do. Just get some spiral paper, Make it look like a snake. You, you need some help from your parents because you, you have to use scissors. And just do this. You're going to watch it spin. Like if you put it over your heater or your air conditioner, and the, this will spin because the, um, the air will make it spin. Do you need wings to fly? Planes, birds, bats, and insects all need wings to fly. But you can fly without wings in a hot air balloon. How many of you have ever been in a hot air balloon? I haven't, but I would like to go. Bubbles rise because they're full of warm air. As the air inside begins to cool, the bubbles start to fall. Hot air rises because it is lighter than colder than cold air. A hot air balloon will float upward if the air inside is heated. So remember, in order for this hot air balloon to go up, it has to have, what kind of um, air does it have to have? Cold or hot? Hot. That's why it's called a hot air balloon, because it needs that hot air to rise. Why do planes have wings? A plane needs wings to fly. When a plane speeds along a runway, Air rushes past. As the air rushes over and under the wings, the plane rises off the ground. The upward force is called lift. Look at those kids. They're pretending they're like a plane flying. We need airfoil shaped arms. Let me see you put your arms out. Put your arms out like you're, you're a plane. Stretch those arms out. Those are your wings. A plane's wings are flat underneath and curved at on the top. This shape is called an airfoil. This special shape lifts the wings and pulls the plane upward. How do planes stay up? It's time for liftoff. Whoosh. The lift of a plane's wings pulls it up into the sky and keeps it there. So the lift is what keeps the plane in the air. Engines propel a plane forward at great speed. This is called thrust. If a plane stopped moving forward, it would quickly drop out of the sky, and we do not want that to happen. So down here, here's another little experiment for you to do. You can make a paper airplane. You can pause it to look. Once you're done reading the story, you can go back. How do planes go so fast? A plane needs an engine to go fast. <laughs> jet engines make planes go very fast. A blast of gases rushes from the back of a jet engine and thrusts the plane forward at great speed. 
and that's a this is a jet propelled balloon so if you blow up a balloon and let it go a jet of air shoots out and propels the balloon through the air that's the same way as an airplane how do you steer the plane a pilot turns a plane by tilting its rudders left or right the pilot raises or lowers special flaps on the wings and tail planes to go up or down. So the wings flaps are called ailerons and the flaps on the tail planes are called elevators. So these are all the different parts of the airplane. Can planes fly backward? What do you think? Can they fly backwards? A helicopter can fly backwards or forward. <clears throat> It can also fly up, down, or sideways. So um, I've seen one of these toys before. You stick, spin the stick quickly between your hands and throw it in the air and watch the roller jig fly. So helicopters have special rotating blades. They don't have wings, they have blades. So the spinning blades lift the helicopter straight up into the air. Um, this is how you make a little world of jig. So I'll put that there and you can come back. You can pause it and come back to make your own. So thank you for listening to the story. Tell me why planes have wings. And...